trying to make one thing particularly stretch a long way. You know, the VAT on, on private schools, they keep saying, well, we're going to be able to fund 6,500 teachers, which we worked out the other day is about a third of a teacher <laughs> per school. So it's not going to really make a big difference. Yeah. And already one of the teaching unions, I think it's on the front page of the Telegraph today, saying that actually um, this is not a good idea because the pressure that it will put on state schools, because people will have to take their kids out of private school, put them in state schools, will be unbearable. Yes, and, and, and there was an omission of such from, from uh, Emily Thornbury said, you know, yeah. class size is going to get larger, and then they try and then Labour, Bridget Phillips, and try to sort of shuffle it away and shut education six to say, oh, that's not actually uh, going to happen. Yeah. And then, of course, there's this clip that's emerged of Angela Rayner, the deputy leader, saying that she wants to uh, uh, abolish uh, private schools altogether. Yes, well, we can see that, I think. This is from 2018. No, we haven't quite got it. Um, but, uh, yeah, the leading teachers union we were talking about, there's the secretary of, uh, a guy called Pepe Diazio, the general secretary of the Association of School and College Leaders, says Labour should carefully consider the potential impact of this VAT rise because uh, it could lead to very much bigger class sizes in state schools. Yes, and, of course, the, the, the VAT rise could come into force from September, yes. potentially. There is some confusion about it because there's been some advice, hasn't there, mm. that actually if you pay the school fees now, you can pay it minus the 20%, yeah. assuming, of course, that Keir Starmer uh, wins right. uh, on July the 4th. But yeah. it's a real it's a real panic for many parents who aren't particularly wealthy, mm. but they've decided to prioritise their children's education. Yes. That's a good thing, We spoke to many, many people yesterday, a lot of mothers, actually, who rang into the show, and we we're very grateful for that, uh, and who left voice notes for us to say, you know, we are not wealthy people. Mm. We are not the elite. You know, yeah. we're not sending our kids to Harrow and eaten, you know, we just want the best for our children. And a 20% hike on, on top of all the other costs which they face, rising living costs that they face, as a result of inflation yeah. uh, and what we've seen in terms of the cost of living mm. crisis. These people are subject to that as well. And then they're going to have to pay an extra 20% in their school fees. Kids are going to get pulled out of school because yeah. their parents aren't going to be able to afford it. They're going to have to go into state schools. And those much smaller schools, particularly the prep schools, are going to close down or they're going to get amalgamated. That's yeah. the fear from the leaders of the private school associations yes. and such, that they'll simply close down and because they won't lot, be able to stay afloat. An awful lot of these um, private schools also have bursaries. They also sometimes get children um, sort of put through and with some council money or with other granted money, mm -hmm. aid money, um, so that underprivileged kids can go to, to a better school. I think we've got the Rainer clip now. Let's have a look. 2018, as she said this. Whatever our differences are, we make up a community. We are not all the same, and we should be celebrated for the people we are. We will end the marketisation and privatisation of our education. <laughs> now, you may correct me on this, but I'm, I'm under, under, under the impression that since that came out yeah. that she's kind of intimated that she doesn't think that anymore yeah yeah yes yeah, so, yeah i mean they've, they've had you know we've we had it on trident as well didn't we where yeah. they had that sort of david lammy and had that about turn on trident said actually supported it because of course angela rayner speaking there in 2018 who was leader Jeremy Corbyn, yes. leader of uh, the Labour Party, and those sort of politics were at the very fore of the Labour Party right. back then. Keir Starmer has insisted that the Labour Party has changed. But make no mistake, there are going to be smaller private schools that are going to close down as a result of this. The big private schools, nobody's talking about Eton closing right. down, are they? Harrow, right. uh, Winchester, those schools, they're going to be, which is of course where the Prime Minister yeah. went, those schools are going to be fine because they cater for a very, very wealthy... And an awful lot of foreign students as well. And, and, ...and foreign students as yeah. well. So they'll be fine, but it's the smaller schools. Mm. And, of course, as you rightly say, Mike, it's going to put pressure on state schools uh, who are going to have to soak up these kids dropping out of the private system. Uh, and, uh, of course, Labour have got, as you say, 6,500. Yeah. When you divide it up between all the schools in the country, you can't chop teachers into different portions no. can you but it's literally one school can have the legs and the right. body and the head exactly. and there you go. it doesn't it doesn't work does exactly it? Uh, one one part can can be the <laughs> the, the one that, that tells you that climate change is very very important and don't read the daily mail 